We have five little dogs. Um, we got, let's see, three of them that have uh, gone to the dentist, to the vet, and and had some. They had some of their teeth pulled. These usually all oh, probably pull around 13 to 17 teeth, somewhere around there. They, you know, they they get the the tartar gets pretty caked on their on their teeth and so um it that that was after a few years this right here this guy right here his name is blue and i think he's about seven seven or eight years old i think um he's he's probably one of the best dogs as far as being behaved uh whenever i brush his teeth this right here this black boy black doggy He's, um, that's Chavo. Uh, he's, he's a little bit on the heavy side, um, but, um, we've kind of adopted him. He, he used to be my father-in-law's dog quite a bit, but my, my wife really likes Chavo. Really thinks he's a good dog, and, and he is a good dog. He just, his barking is just... Oh, it's it's very annoying. He has a very annoying bark. But other than that, he's a really, really good dog. And he is, actually, he's probably one of the best dogs as far as brushing his teeth. And he's eaten a lot of bones, too. So his teeth are pretty clean. They're pretty clean. They don't have a lot of tartar buildup on, uh, around the teeth, um, where the teeth gets into the gum area. This right here, this... This is a Zucker. Uh, the and he's a black boy, and black doggy, and he, he's he's probably one of my most difficult uh, doggies uh, to brush his teeth. Um, he he always moves around, and if you see his paws there, he he sticks his paws in in my hands and tries to get me to stop brushing his teeth. Um, and this is a guy that we need to take to the vet. We need to get his teeth cleaned, because he doesn't have he doesn't have his teeth cleaned yet. So uh, so it probably hurts him a little bit whenever I brush his teeth. And you know I don't I don't like that. I don't like to hurt the dogs, but at the same time I don't want his teeth to get any worse as far as the tartar and then having to pull more teeth uh, from him. Uh, two of the dogs. Um, had to have, um, they had, uh, gingivitis or, uh, they had, a, a gum disease or something like that. But this girl right here, this is Villanova, and she didn't have gum disease. They had to pull, I think it was probably 15 of her teeth, um, whenever she was at the vet. But she didn't have gum disease, and so that was pretty cool because that means that you have to give them some antibiotics for a few for for a week or something like that um and she's kind of she's kind of well behaved she um she just doesn't like me to brush her teeth very much and it's not like i'm getting any blood you know i'm, I'm not the toothbrush is not red whenever i get done brushing their teeth that so I, i'm not brushing too hard on their gums and making their gums bleed uh, but they just they just don't like me sticking the toothbrush the big toothbrush in their mouth this girl right here i just got done brushing her teeth this is feeling over and she hides underneath the bed um so it's kind of difficult for me to pull her out and get her so i can get her to brush her get, get to brush her teeth um here i am what I'm going to do is I'm going to check out her paws and check out her nails. She has black nails. Uh, to, uh, she has black paw nails, so it's very hard to clip her toenails without making them bleed. Um, you got to be really careful, and I I, I found out a way that uh, is pretty good. You know, from looking at different uh, you, uh, YouTube videos and and what vets do whenever they to, in order so that they uh, clip can clip the dog's nails, but then not cut the quick and and make the dog's uh, feet uh, toenails bleed. Um, sometimes the sometimes the dogs uh, 
they let out a little yip or a little yap whenever I cut their toenails a little bit too short. Um, I, try, I really try not to. I, you know, the, the, the key is um, is to cut a little bit because you can always cut more. You know, it's just it's just the, the, di the thing that dif makes it difficult for the dogs is that they're so fussy. You know, they like to shake, they like to move around and like to uh, move their body this way and that way. And it's just, it's, it's, it's frustrating. You have to have a lot of patience uh, in order to clip their, clip their nails, but it uh, really helps them out. And, and the reason, one of the reasons why I don't have to clip their nails as much as I normally do is because the walking, walking really wears down their nails quite a bit.